Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new uh, Storyline Senesi card to review today. I'm going to try my best to review the three Storyline cards today before the content release. We'll see what the vibes are. But today, we're taking a look at this card. Six foot one, medium high work rates, left footed, two star skills with a three star weak foot. So he's left footed. Okay, so where you put him on the pitch depends on how you defend and how you pass the ball for the most part, right? So obviously, uh, left-footed, left center back, so you can make those passes to the outside, or left-footed, right center back to block those finesse shots as much as possible if you're up against that, right? So that's one of those things uh, that you do have to consider. Player traits on the card, he has the power header traits as well as the team player traits. So power header traits actually really nice to have. Uh, he's got 85 acceleration with 76 sprint speed, which is actually very usable, right? You can make him a 90 five for acceleration and an 86 for sprint speed uh it's not necessarily meta obviously having the high or the mid 90s uh is more ideal for the full meta concept but you can work with it because it's important that his acceleration is as high as it is compared to the sprint speed because most of the defending like we always say is accelerating into the play to defend certain opportunities right so uh if we take a look here and see what his body type is. It is going to be a high and average body type. So it's a good body type to have uh, for someone playing in the center back position. However, he does have 66 agility with 67 balance and 74 dribbling, which I do feel like you will notice in game, obviously, right? Uh, with a shadow chemistry style on this card, we are going to be boosting his uh, defense to essentially be perfect, uh, while also giving him 95 acceleration at 86 sprint speed, while having some pretty decent physical stats, right? He's got 90 for strength, 83 for aggression to work with the pace and the body type, and then he also has 80 for stamina at 86 jumping, right? So uh, it's an interesting card. Um, I'm thinking that the pace from time to time may be a nuisance meta wise obviously but you can work with it same thing with like Vidic's card back in the day um and then the dribbling we are going to see what that's like defending wise whether that's a big nuisance because it could be right who knows uh we have a team over here that we work together you know this is just an example of what you can do because of uh doom freeze being a thing right and then just kind of getting those argentinian links and whatnot so yeah uh we're gonna be using the three at the back formation here so 3-5-2, we're going to use press after possession loss with the width on narrow, and then long ball tactics for this. We're going to do this for long ball. And then we're going to play Sinesi in the center, center back position. Okay, so we'll use a 3-5-2. We'll get into a game and uh, see how he plays. To a quick start here. Attack the game from the off. Impose your game plan, and hopefully we get a good game. And here's Wayne Rooney. Well, he's outplayed and outfought him. Oh, it's already a good initial tackle right there. It's possession base too, he pushes it forward, right? He doesn't like make a uh, bad tackle right there. Oh, he just let it out, okay. <laughs> I was like, the registration is like completely off right here, but um, he does well there. By default, he just let it go out. He just didn't let me touch the ball there. The skies runs, man. Those things are crazy. Let's go, Sinesi. All done. La Grand Switch with Sinesi. Let's go, baby. Nice goal, we'll take that. Well, he does really well right there, to be honest. You can see, though, that the sprint speed part of the card uh, is a little bit of a nuisance, obviously, right? But that's only if you uh, kind of get caught out of position, you have to chase after someone, right? So you just have to kind of like avoid those situations as much as possible but in that situation it's obviously noticeable that the uh sprint speed's not the greatest the initial acceleration is nice though uh which is important but it's a combination of uh the agility and balance as well as the sprint speed not being high that's going to affect the card a little bit obviously nice tackle there we go could switch to him oh the game did let me switch to him in that situation 
Again, right? So if I can switch to him in that area, right? And accelerate right into the area to uh, defend quickly, it'll be fine, right? Marks, I got the bottom the entire time. Nicely done. We'll take that. Normally with cards like this, when their base card stats for defense is pretty high, uh, once you give them the Shadow Chemistry style, they usually do that by default, but I just want to see how well they do it in certain situations. Do something positive on the counter attack. Look as though they might make real progress on the At least we intercepted that play really nicely. We'll take that. Again, you can see that his running animation is not necessarily like light on his feet. And that's obvious because he has the uh, poor agility and balance with the body type and height that's going to influence that card. But you know what, guys? To be honest with you, uh, generally speaking, like obviously like not full meta wise with pace and whatnot, he's actually a really solid center back. He's been doing a lot of work for me personally. Um, even in a situation like this, the pressure that he puts on the player is really good. Like it's a usable card for the links that you want to work with. You know what I mean? Because a lot of the times with defenders, you're not really going to push them out of position unless you specifically do so because you don't really control them that often anyways. It's just good defensive AI that they need to be able to uh, defend certain situations. Look, we tackled into the play. We still get the ball back. We still all do all that too. So, you know, like obviously that's going to be the worst part of the card. But guys, like I said, you're not really gonna overcommit a card like this like crazy like you know with bullet tanks card how his pace is low um you know if you use him like a three five two and he's your center back position uh, he's playing in the center center back position like you don't have to uh worry about it as much you know nice goal there might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity will they profit from this situation well it fizzled out those ones you have to be careful of when the person actually does the lob pass against you. Because you kind of have to... It's either you go for an offside trap so you don't let him do it in general, or you just got to be careful with that acceleration sprint speed that he has. Oh, that would have been a nice goal too. That sucks. Man, those accelerated touches are crazy, man. Nice, good play. Even his transitioning left and right is actually not bad, guys. It's not, it's obviously not the best either because of the agility and balance, but it's still pretty decent. All right, guys. So final verdict on the Senesi card. So if you are planning to unlock this card because you want to use a pretty decent center back uh, that gives you some certain links with Feyenoord or with Argentinian players because you want to work with something like that, um, he's definitely a really cool card to use, and I think he actually defends pretty nicely. Like you know, you know me, guys. Like I use Ruben Diaz in my team, and Ruben Diaz's uh, acceleration and sprint speed is not as good as this Senesi card, but you know he still does the work for me because as long as you defend as properly as you can, because given the situation in the game sometimes being random you'll actually enjoy using this card in your team in my opinion right because there's a couple of links you can work with uh with the Fey Norton Argentinian links and I feel like it'd make a difference right so let's talk about how the card performs in game with the shadow chemistry style right so uh the initial acceleration that he has with the 95 acceleration is nice however you do notice the six foot one height and the high and average body type when it comes to um it's like the point after the acceleration uh, where you know you start to use his sprint speed where it's not necessarily the best But you could still defend really nicely because he's a tall player that has a really long reach when it comes to defending right even the initial Acceleration it's nice, but you still feel the agility and balance in that initial boost where he's kind of like a little bit slow uh, Because it's just a base characteristic of his right uh, in regards to defending He's obviously a pretty good defender normally when it comes to uh, EA boosting these cards they they basically let you give them an anchor or a shadow. It doesn't really matter uh, because when their base card stats for defense looks like this, right? You got 83 sign tackles, which doesn't matter because when you give him the shadow chemistry style, you're giving him a plus 15, right? You're giving him 99, 98, 92, 90, 
and 94 for defensive stats, which is obviously going to be very good. So his marking for the most part will be amazing because he is a high, uh, a medium high worker player, which is very ideal in the game nowadays, right? Uh, and then his physical stats work really well um, in certain situations because obviously the 90 strength of the body type that he has is nice, but then not only that, he also has the 83 aggression uh, to work with his pace to be able to out muscle people in the team. So like I said, guys, if you guys wanna unlock this card uh, for certain links in your team's lineup, it's definitely worth getting in my opinion because the first three selections is Senesi, Dembele, and um, and Walshmit. And I think all of those are depending on how you're building your team. Like Walshmit's Liga Noj, Dembele's Chinese League, and then Senesi is if you're working with some Eredivisie players, right? And there's a lot of links you can go with nowadays from Eredivisie too. So um, he definitely would be a really cool center back to get. But don't expect his, uh, don't expect him to have like unique defensive animations because he obviously doesn't have the dives into tackle trade, which is crazy in this game which what it's what makes Varon so good right so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this review i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys